One of the most strangest and fascinating astronomical phenomenons are quasars. Quasars aren't stars. Scientists discovered that they are young galaxies, powered by a supermassive black hole. The reason why these things are so mind-blowing is that quasars are the keys to understanding the origin of the universe. And what if I would tell you that the James Webb Space Telescope JWST, will discover the secrets of these massive sensations in only a few years from now? Of course, you are asking yourself now what four discoveries the JWST will gather from quasars. But don't worry, in this video I'm going to answer all of these questions and trust me, they are incredible. So watch the video till the end to don't miss any important part. Quasars were important in the early formation of galaxies, as per initial science research by the James Webb Space Telescope. A supermassive black hole powers quasars, which are brilliant faraway objects. These black holes, which can have trillions of sun energies and are generally found in the center of galaxies, can have millions of solar masses. Quasars rely on the infalling matter to live and emit massive amounts of radiation. Its light is excessively bright, outshining all other lights. Quasar jets and winds are thought to generate galaxies. We will explore what role quasars serve in galaxy development through these primordial eras, Webb astronomers said. The quasars will also be used to analyze the gas in the baby universe's gap between galaxies. Webb has narrowed its focus to deep space. Its remarkable sensibility to dim lighting and capabilities to capture high detail will be critical in studying objects that are unfamiliar to us. The vastness of space is incredible. The sheer scale of it, as well as the billions upon trillions of items scattered over the universe's billions of galaxies, is virtually inconceivable to the human psyche. Webb is now in the process of completion. The telescope will begin its task to observe quasars as soon as the installation period is completed. Six quasars will be studied by the James Webb Space Telescope, as well as their development and gas processing between galaxies. Researchers are eager to learn more about the epoch of reionization, which occurred roughly 13 billion years ago, or a trillion years before the cosmos was formed. Because galaxies were impermeable to light at the time, they were hard to monitor. The James Webb Space Telescope would be used to examine quasars, luminous objects fueled by black holes that can release energy greater than all the stars in a galaxy. Webb will examine gas between quasars and Earth, utilizing quasars as a foreground light source, according to Webb researchers. This gas absorbs quasars' radiation at a specified wavelength. Scanning spectroscopy can be used to capture spectral lines in gases. Webb's capacity to monitor infrared energy will be crucial for researching this time, according to team members, because the quasar's radiation is elongated due to space extension. Cosmological redshift is a phenomenon that causes light waves to shift to the infrared region of the spectrum. Even in such a situation, Webb is prepared to overserve. The infrared observatory, which is the size of a tennis court, was deployed at French Guiana on Xmas Day 2021 and arrived at its ultimate stop, the large Lagrange position between Sun and Earth, on January 24, 2022. Webb would be used by groups of astronomers to explore a wide range of astronomical observations, from celestial bodies to black holes, during its century or more in orbit. Quasars, the tremendously luminous objects fueled by black holes that span in magnitude from millions to tens of billions of times the sun's weight, will be among its initial targets. Although they are commonly known as the dynamic galactic nucleus found in the center of galaxies with supermassive black holes, the term quasar stands for quasi-stellar radio source. They can release powers in the billions of electron volts, much exceeding the unique blend of all stars in the galaxy. Astronomers utilizing Webb will explore what role quasars play in galactic throughout these early ages in one of the first sets of scientific studies. This will provide them clarity into how the ancient universe began to be, including a peak at the gas that existed billions of years ago in the region between galaxies. Webb is capable to see deeper into the chronology of the world than any previous space observatory because it is a million-mile distance from Earth. 
It's equipped with a high-resolution infrared instrument that can detect very low amounts of light, making it ideal for examining the atmosphere surrounding quasars. Scientists using Webb to study quasars will look at their characteristics, as well as those of their host galaxy, and how they will be interrelated during the early phases of galaxy evolution. It is capable to do so because the illumination from these faraway objects takes billions of decades to achieve the telescope, allowing it to observe the radiation as it was generated near the beginning of time. All of the quasars we're looking at were born when the universe was much younger than 800 million years old, or even less than 6% of its present age, according to Santiago Arribas of the Madrid-based Center for Astrobiology. These mind-blowing discoveries will the JWST detect. Astronomers want to collect sufficient light off quasars to search for metals, which are denser than helium and hydrogen. These elements were generated throughout the first stars and galaxies and ejected by outflows, Webb officials claimed. Outflow is another item on Webb's to-do list as it tries to figure out how a gigantic black hole accumulates gases from the galaxy's push and surroundings. Outflow can become overly intense at times, which can have a significant impact on galaxies' evolution. Because a star's creation is based on gas, removing gas during ejection can cause the pace of star creation to stall or stop entirely. Outflow is thought to be one of the processes that distribute gas, dust, and elements around the universe, according to researchers. This process has the potential to have an impact both on the host universe and the cosmic medium. The widening of space has broadened the light these things generate. Cosmological redshift is the name given to this process. The longer light has to traverse, the more redshifted it becomes. The collection of infrared-tuned equipment aboard Webb is excellent for analyzing this kind of radiation, because visible scattering from the observable universe is elongated so enormously that it is moved out into the thermal by the time it arrives us. The James Webb Space Telescope is currently calibrating its mirrors, a lengthy and complex procedure that must be finished before it can beam back images from outer space. Scientists are excited to examine quasars in associated host galaxies once JWST is up and running, potentially providing light on the universe's birth narrative. The fourth phase of mirror synchronization, known as coarse phasing, detects and rectifies tiny height variations between mirror pieces, and the JWST team is working on it last week. The three-month alignment process, which started recently, will take at least three months to finish. Researchers will use the telescope to examine quasars after everything is in order and the telescope has reached a sufficient temperature, in the hopes of unraveling the riddles of the young universe. The Reionization Era JWST will look up into the night sky to learn more about the era called the Reionization Era. This event occurred hundreds of thousands of years earlier, when the intergalactic medium's neutral gas became charged or ionized, rendering it vulnerable to ultraviolet light. Scientists and researchers want to grasp one of the important frontiers in astrophysics by figuring out what caused the reionization that resulted in the clear conditions seen in much of the known universe. You'll need exceptionally brilliant background generators to explore the universe. A quasar is their ideal object in the faraway cosmos, since it is bright enough for us to view clearly. Camilla Pacific, a member of the Canadian Space Agency, agreed. We're interested in studying the early cosmos because the universe changes and we desire to comprehend how it all began. As a result, these data allow us to investigate galaxy dynamics and catastrophic black hole genesis and evolution at such a young age. A group of scientists will train NASA's James Webb Space Telescope on six among the most far away and brilliant quasars immediately after its public launch this year. Webb also has exceptional precision, allowing the quasar's light to be separated from that of its host galaxy. Guaranteed time investigations using NERSPEC's spectral skills are the quasar programs mentioned here. When it launches in 2021, the James Webb Space Telescope will become the world's greatest space science observatory. Webb is a NASA-led international project involving ESA, European Space Agency, as well as the Canadian Space Agency as partners. I hope you will also want to try out this telescope and see for yourself how incredible it is.
It's hard to believe it was made by someone. But nothing is impossible, as the saying goes. That's all for today's video, and thanks for watching it. If you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And while you are here, click to watch one of these two videos appearing on your screen right now. I will see you there. Take care and stay tuned.